Freddy found a fairy tangled in a tree. Help! I'm stuck! The fairy cried. So Freddy set her free. Thank you, said the fairy. My name is Bessie Bell. I'll grant you all your wishes, though I can't hear very well. Freddy thought, then mumbled. I wish I had a pet. Why, so you shall, said Bessie Bell, and conjured up a net. I don't want fish, said Freddy. I'd rather have a dog. Hey, presto, said the fairy, and conjured up a frog. Let's try again, said Freddy. I wish I had a cat. That's easy, said the fairy, and conjured up a Bat! I don't like bats, said Freddy. But what about a mouse? Lift up that stone, the fairy said, and Freddy found a louse. That isn't right, said Freddy. Let's think, perhaps a parrot? I'll do my best, said Bessie Bell, and conjured up a carrot. Freddy stamped his foot and said, This carrot has no beak. Forgive me, said the fairy, and a tear rolled down her cheek. Just then, from out of nowhere appeared the fairy queen. She dried the fairy's eyes and asked, Whatever does this mean? It's Bessie Bell, said Freddy. She gets things wrong, he grumbled. I'm sorry, said the fairy. But this because you mumbled. Now, Freddy, said the fairy queen. She sounded kind but stern. Before you wish again, there are three rules for you to learn. Rule one, you mustn't mumble. Rule two, don't turn away. The fairy needs to see your lips to read the words you say. Rule 3. Don't cover up your mouth. She can't see through your hand. Obey these three gold rules and then I'm sure she will understand. So Freddy learned the three gold rules and now he speaks quite clearly. And everything he wishes for comes true. Or very nearly.